Hello YouTube. I'm back again. I see a lot of you might have noticed that I have changed my channel title. I changed it from my name, Ray Wilhoy, to uh, Urban Granddad Prepper. It's a funny story behind it, I'll tell you later. And I'm changing my uh, profile also to go along with that. But everything on the channel was the same. If you if you subscribe to the channel, you still get the same items. All I did was just change the name in the profile picture. Okay, and uh, this little story I'm going to tell you before I get into the uh, video is that I was at a family uh, function the other day, and, and there was a lot of old people there. Like me, you know, my brothers and sisters and my aunt and stuff like that. People from out of town. And uh, I heard this one kid said, uh, that's uh, Granddad Prepper over there. I said, Granddad Prepper? And it sort of stuck with me. And it's been making me think that uh, maybe I should change my name since a lot of people know me that, that way as a prepper. Not a lot of people, but uh, most people, that's what they, they do when they... They yeah, hear my videos or see me, it's, uh, they think I'm a prepper. But anyway, I'm making this too long already. I'm talking about nothing. Okay, look, um, the video I want to talk about today is uh, preppers. Are we good guys or are we villains? Now, I think I'm a good guy, you know. I mean, especially as old preppers, you know, with old age comes uh, wisdom, you know, most of the time. At least uh, that's the way I think things are. And, uh, and the reason a lot of people think we're villains is because we're not willing to take care of the unprepared. You know, we don't want to take care of somebody that's young, that don't want to prepare and take care of themselves and their family and put away food. So we're automatically the bad guy and the villain. That's okay. I'll be the bad guy and the villain. But if they ask for advice and knowledge on stuff like that, I can give them that. And then I'm the good guy. I mean, just a no-win situation when it comes to that. And in a survival situation, you know you're going to be the villain because you're going to have stuff and other people won't. But that's another story. Okay, and uh, another thing, the government think we are villains. I mean, even though the government is telling people to put away stuff for, uh, you know, if you, if what originally was for two weeks and then a month, and now they're talking about six months, they want you to put away stuff. And the government is is uh really upset at preppers because they think that when stuff go bad that we won't need them which is true i mean we might need things that they're gonna give us med medical stuff medicine and stuff but as far as food and water and stuff like that we are prepared and so when a, when a when a person or anybody in charge can't control your food or water they can't control you and then they'd be mad about that and that's the way I look at some of these people that's going to be in charge they call themselves uh, government people oh, they, they, they're going to try to make you do things or they're going to withhold food and water from you, you know because starving people would do a whole lot of stuff okay and another thing you know we have a plan and, and, uh, and that's another thing that makes us villains I mean because a lot of people right now they don't have a plan from day to day week to week and we, as preppers, we have a plan. We know what we're going to do in an emergency situation. It ain't, I, I'm not talking about, you know, uh, you know, extraordinary situations or insane situations or stuff like that. I'm talking about your average, you know, storms and situation and knock out power or knock out your heat or the water plant. Uh, breaks down and get contaminated or something like that. I'm talking about stuff that can really happen on an everyday basis. I'm not talking about WRIL or SHTF stuff. I'm talking about normal stuff. See, because mostly what I'm gonna start talking about now is uh, normal stuff. You know, I'm not. You know, like I said, you never hear me talk about alien invasions and stuff like that because there's no need to talk about it. Okay, you know what'll happen. I mean, I'm just talking about the stuff that would cause uh, drastic changes, you know, you know, and, and uh, make people go crazy. All right, so uh, speaking on that, I mean, it's going to get ruthless out there. It's going to be uh, vicious. This and it's going to be people afraid just even going in their front porch when stuff happens. But I'm just saying this. Uh, 
bug in if you're in the city and that's what I'm going to start talking a lot about is the city because I have no idea what would happen if I had to bug out out in the woods because I'm no good because I, you hear me say I'm handicapped and uh, bug in is going to be a risky proposition too but you can control the risk up to a point because like I said before in some of my other videos and a lot of people need to go back and view some of my other videos that haven't been uh, watching me before you hear me talk about stuff like this uh, no place is 100% secure Nowhere, no place, nowhere you can go is 100% secure. So you make it as secure as you can, okay? And uh, like I said, basically, that's all I wanted to give everybody an update on my channel and, and, and uh, speak a little bit on about preppers, good or bad guys, you know. You know, like I say, I'm a good guy, but people going to think I'm a villain. And I just wanted to thank uh, Iditarum, uh I think it's 420. Uh, he got 40,000 subscribers now. And uh, you heard me mention Will Purple was looking for 300 subscribers. Now he's over 400. He's looking for 500. So give him a shout out. And uh, um, Midwest Prepper too. He's a guy from Ohio. You know, home state guy. He uh, down close to around Cincinnati and Kentucky border. Yeah, he's looking for subscribers too. So you know, get him guys a, 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 a check out. You know, see if you like that stuff. And, and uh, you know about Alaska Prepper because he's the one that taught me. Reach one, teach one, you know. All right, then. Thank you, YouTube.